And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my humble privilege to bring to you our sister, Madam Sheila Kamau. Wow. Uh, how are you? Karibu sana. We are very, 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 in fact, very much, very expectant to hear from the Lord. And therefore, to taomba, to mwachie microphone, na ili atulete neno. Musikae mpaka atuambia. Sio? Buwana tunampeana mtumishi wako mikononi mwako. Asanti kwa jinsi ambavyo umemuanda. Anapo nena, nena kupitia kwake. Mapenzi yako tuyajue na tuyasikie. Tusaidie hata sio kusikia tu, mbali hata kuyatenda. Katika Kristo, buwana tumeomba. Amen. Karibu sana. Praise the Lord. Ah, okay. We can have a seat. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mnaniona? Wenye wako katikati ya hii pila. Ato uzuri ni wachachi yetu. Mtaniona in the spirit haina shida. Sijali. <laughs> yes, for those who don't know me, naitua Sheila Kamau. Nimeokoka. A fellowship at AAC Riruta. And I am very privileged to stand in front of you. I was sharing with Sharon that it doesn't matter how many times unasimama mbele ya watu. As long as it's administering the word of God, for me, I'm always nervous because, I mean, it is the word of God and it, it is God's children. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are expectant to receive from God? How many have received? Only Denzel and I. Denzel, please, uh, appreciate my, um, what is he? Majom Nangoja, he's my vice chair. Appreciate Denzel as he comes. <laughs> yes. This young man, don't get your story, but I. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I lack words because um, the presence of God is here. Praise the Lord. And where the presence of God is, there is fullness of joy. Praise the Lord. And joy is expressed in many ways. Hallelujah. God can give you a wife. It will be a source of joy. Cindy. God can give you a job. It will be a source of joy. God can heal you. It can be a source of joy. Praise God. So when you are saying in the presence of God there is fullness of joy, it's just, it just means there is so much you can get from God. And all of it, you'll always expect it to give you joy. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Nifanye kama wewe unifinyange nifinyange wakini tazama wako one wewe unifinyange We are worshiping. Don't look at me. Nifinyange
court. There are certain men who were taken before the Sanhedrin and they were not very learned. But the testimony wakitoka from the Sanhedrin waliambiwa, these men were surely with Jesus. Praise God. May it be the testimony of everyone here. When you go back home, let them know today you passed somewhere. Hallelujah. Watch it whether these people, they were with Jesus today. Praise the Lord. John chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. Here at any memory verse. <laughs> Let's not open our Bibles. Let's say it. One, two, three, go. Allah. Okay, I can see ni Sunday school teachers wangu pekea walikuwa na put in the extra work. More grace to your Sunday school teachers. <laughs> Anywho, verse 23. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Praise God. Those two verses carry a whole load of things that I pray the Holy Spirit will help us understand in a very short time. Praise the name of the Lord. Say, but the hour is coming. Again, but the hour is coming. The hour is coming. And now, now is. And now is. Do you know what that statement says? Oh, yes. Chakula inakucha. Na imekucha. Praise God. I'm, taking, I'm talking about this food is coming at a future time. But tayari, imefanya nini? Imefika. Praise the Lord. So let me give the background. So Jesus was with the Samaritan woman at the well. We know Samaritans and Jews are going at that time. And um, Jesus talks to the Samaritan woman. And the Samaritan woman is, um, Jesus is telling the Samaritan, I'll use one simple question. Okay, let me paint it well. Sasa, Jewish women, walikuwa naenda kwa mto asubui. Any person wakiwako na common sense, hawezi enda kwa mto ijua ikui metokea hivi. Atenda asubui. But this woman, from the question, yes, walimuliza, where is your husband? Kamambia, I have no husband. And Jesus told her, yeah, you are right. Because you have had five, and even the one you have is not your own. Now this woman went to the well at around noon where no other woman was at the well. Praise God. Why? This woman has had five husbands. Praise God. She is the talk of the town. Praise the name of the Lord. Aka enda na mark. Aka enda. Wacha ni mention on yoko kwa Bible ndo si seme I am being personal with people. I am being personal with the apostles, not with you. Alienda na mark. Aka enda na Peter. Aka enda na Paul. Aka enda na Matthew. Philip, John, whoever. Okay. And even Philip is not his own. Sasa, such a woman would be the talk of the town. So hange enda kwa well asubui pamoja na mama wenzake alikuwa naenda at a later time. And Jesus knowing this because he is God. Sindio? He went there strategically at that time to minister to that woman. Praise the name of Jesus. So at noon, Jesus is seated. The scripture says he was tired and he was thirsty. So he tells the woman, woman, draw me water to drink. Praise God. But Jesus told, let us read. Sir, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Verse 11, the woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Hallelujah. Verse 12, are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and his livestock? Then Jesus said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst nor come here to draw. So now, the statement this woman is saying me, if there is water that is everlasting, then I won't have to suffer the shame of coming to the well under this sun. So you just give me that water 
and I won't have to come here to draw again. That's when Jesus says, go call your husband and come here. And the woman answered, I have no husband. Jesus said, you have said well, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. The woman said to him, sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Now story of worship, praise the Lord. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. And you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place one ought to worship. Someone say location. Say location. Where are we right now? We're in Kamango, right? So if anyone will want to attend our worship experience today, they'll have to go where? To Kamango. So in that time, if anyone will worship the Lord, they had to go where? To Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Verse 21, now Jesus said, let me repeat verse 19. The woman said to him, sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Verse 20, our fathers worshipped on this mountain. And you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jew. Uh -huh. But the hour is coming. The hour, this is Jesus telling the woman, because they were talking about our oh, father, you know, the Jews worship in Jerusalem, and us we worship on this mountain. But Jesus is now telling the woman, the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. You know, we are ladies. Uh, the gospel has to go on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, don't mind the color clashing. This is the only one I could find. So, Injili and Lessindio. Yendembele. Yes, verse 23. <laughs> but the hour. That was Jefunga Poa, but don't mind me. But the hour is coming, and now is. And now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Praise God. There was a location, remember. So it was where? Jerusalem. And for the Samaritans, it was where? In that mountain the fathers gave to them, okay? But the hour is coming when the true worshippers will worship the Father in. Nani Elfanya prepositions high school? If you remember what those things are. Because it's going to a part of grammar. Figures of speech. It's going to a Figures of speech. Nouns, pronouns, adverbs, adjectives. Prepositions. From the word preposition, it tells you preposition. It's explaining the position of an adjective or an adverb or whatever you're explaining. So in the spirit, in niwapi, dani. Dani niwapi? Dani ni dani. It's a location, okay? So Jesus is saying there was a time when every devout Jew, even if you read the book of Acts, when the Pentecost was happening, devout Jews had gathered from all over the world. Praise God. From Ethiopia, from Arabia, continents, but you can imagine from wherever they were, they all went to Jerusalem to worship. Praise God. But the hour is now. Tell your neighbor is now. Ni sasa hivi. Na kama si sasa hivi, 
uh-huh, is now that the that the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Why? For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. There are three things that blew my mind here. Number one, look at your neighbor and tell them, tell them the true worshippers. Tell him or her the true worshippers. Now, this is Jesus calling these worshippers true. Meaning he has measured them according to his standard of truth. Na kaona wame toshea kuitwa true worshippers. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Wickedness is wickedness because God is holy. Hallelujah. Darkness is darkness because God is light. So anything God says is something. Hallelujah. But now these true worshippers, Jesus is saying they will. Trudi kwa kizungu kidogo. Will inamanisha nini? They will. Future. Sindio? Future tense. Already there are true worshippers. So there's this question. Between kuku na mayai, nini ukuja kwanza? Iyo kuku ilitoka hapi? Iyo mayai ilitoka hapi? Kuku ilitoka hapi? Nini na kuja mbele ingine? <laughs> so this is that kind of question. True worshippers. Jesus didn't say, hakuanza na the worship first and then the true worshippers. He started with the true worshippers and then gave us a time where they will now start to worship. Praise God. So I was asking myself, how are true worshippers? Kwa nini how are worship? If they are already called true, why are they not worshipping? Praise the Lord. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. Why? Why, why is that time coming? It says, for the Father is seeking. Tell your neighbor, seeking. Matthew 7, 7, nasema nini? Chato one Sunday school. Teachers onye kama wafika fika na hapa. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and you shall seek, knock. Yes. It is a principle that if you look for something, you will find it. Or at least you expect to find it. Sendio? Wezu kuna tafta kitu for the fun of it, right? So Jesus, the Father, is seeking such to worship him. Hallelujah. He didn't say he is making true worshippers who will worship him. He's saying the true worshippers will worship in spirit and in truth for the Father seeks such to worship him. Praise the Lord. So who are these true worshippers? Praise the name of Jesus. We have seen that they came before the worship. Ukiangalia the true worshippers trudi kwa kizungu tena kidogo. Mnakumbuka articles. Hello. Ni ngapi? Tatu. Okay, ya kwanza? Aha, ya pili? Aha. Ai. Nisomea shule gani? Nisomea shule gani? Ni tatu. Nimeambona mwenye ametoka shule juzi. Sisi wenye litoka kitambo labda syllabus ilichi. Okay, what are the common in we are focusing on the the ilikuwa aje? definite article meaning it's very specific. Hallelujah. If I send Phoebe, mwambie go bring me a girl. She doesn't let her anyone. But if I tell her go bring me the girl. The first question takua which girl? So when we are reading the true worshipers, what's the first question? Which ones? Hallelujah. Now, I'll make a statement that will corroga some of you and uh, I will explain why. So from reading this, verse 23 and verse 24, putting in mind the issue of location. God He says, God is spirit. So if unatafuta mungu sahi, haumtafuti, sorry to say, umtafuti church. If the church doesn't have that which God is in, you won't find him there. Because he is no longer now in a location, okay? Praise God. So those who are planning to go to Israel, it's good, go. But God is no longer there, as in partiality. That's 
is the only place you can find him. Praise the name of the Lord. So from this, that the true worshippers, because it says, those who worship him must. Kizungu tena, must ni nini? Hakuna option ingine ni must. So meaning, if you are not in the spirit, you cannot worship. What is being in the spirit? If you go to Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 1. And you, says, and you, he made alive who are dead in trespasses and sins. Praise God. How many are born again? Those who have lifted their hands up. You, he made alive. You were once dead. He made alive. Romans 8 says, we were dead to his spirit, but he made us alive to the spirit of God. Hallelujah. What I'm trying to say is, if you are not born again, this is the saddest part, yet the most glorious part of today's ministration is that if you're not born again, you truly can't say you have worshipped. Because where you are in, God is not there. From that level, you are dead to the spirit. Praise Jesus. But the good news is, let's go back to John chapter 4, verse 24. The good news is that such the Father seeks. Praise God. He's not sitting in a throne waiting for these true worshippers to waltz in the kingdom of God. He has gone out of his way to look for them, for he already knows them. Praise God. For my sheep, know my voice. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. If the Lord doesn't draw us to himself, we can never come to him. Praise the name of Yahweh. Praise the Lord. So I was sitting and thinking, the leadership, they have put in so much to make sure this thing has happened. But all this effort was just for one thing. That those true worshippers will be found. We have not answered the question here who these true worshippers are, right? These true worshippers are you and me. Praise Jesus. As long as you qualify to be redeemed by the blood of Christ, it is you he calls a true worshipper. The reason why this is, let me ask you. Let me not ask you. Let me say it. It's in this Bible. Scripture says, and this is love, not that we loved him, but that he loved us first. Sawa, sawa. And then he tells us, forgive one another as I have forgiven you. So God is expecting you to forgive. Why? Not because you have what it takes, but because he forgave you. Meaning if you have received his forgiveness, then you have received the ability to forgive someone else. If it is love, love as I have loved you. It means it's not because you have the ability yourself. It's because you have received it. Now you can be able to do it. What I mean is, your worship is not true because you have done something. But because everything that needs to make it true, you have received it from God. And what is that? His life. Praise Jesus. We cannot speak the same language with God if we have not come to where he is. John chapter... 14, think verse 16. For I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father. I think that's a different verse, but yes, no one goes to the Father except through me. So the way to get to Him has already been provided. Hallelujah. So if we are not there, it's not because He's too far, it's not because He doesn't want to interact. The way is there, it's just that we are not there. Praise the name of the Lord. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no you won't keep down, lie on tear 
someone else to worship him on your behalf. Yeah. 
lift your hand up to Jesus. I've seen one hand. Someone else, you want to give your life to Christ. You can never worship him from outside. You can never worship him from outside. Only from the level where he is. Worshippers, meaning we are not hidden before him. Scripture says light manifests. Hallelujah. You are a child of light. Praise the name of Jesus. You are a child of light. Hallelujah. You are a child of light. Put your hand on your chest. Say, I am a child of light. 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 I am a true worshipper. I am a true worshipper. But there are times I have gone through tough things. No, 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 don't, don't repeat that one, don't repeat that one. I'm just saying, you can put your hand away. There are times I've been through tough things. And then I sing songs like, Yo, nafsi yangu ya kungoja buwana. And I'm like, ay, hii nafsi yangu si kama ni mungu inangoje. Nika inangoje ya binadamu, wama, something else. But from this understanding that I am a true worshipper, it makes me know I am not lying. Tell yourself, I am not lying. I am not lying. I am worshipping. I am worshipping. I am not lying. I am not lying. I am worshipping. When we are lifting our hands and we are saying, Jesus, we love you, you are not lying. Because everything that is supposed to make your worship true, you are all born again, I presume. No one has lifted their hands up. It means the Holy Spirit is living inside you. And the Holy Spirit is the spirit of what? The spirit of truth. Praise the Lord. Amen. So from the depths of your spirit, you are not lying. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. I am worshipping. I am not lying. Hallelujah. So, now that you're in the location of worship, where does the truth come in? Worship is not worship. If you have not learned something about Christ, you can't sing a song like mm, mm, Great are you Lord Greatly to be praised Greatly to be praised Father you reign Great are you Lord Greatly to be praised Greatly to be praised And you are already in the location of that great God. You ought to leave that place with an understanding of indeed he is great. Praise the Lord. Amen. True worshippers must. It is a requirement. How to measure your worship. Now today we are talking about worship in song. There are many ways you can worship him. You can worship through service. There are many ways you can express your worship. But we are talking about worship in song. If 
does not lead you to a place where you can know that indeed this is who he is, you have not worshipped. Not because you are not there. It didn't lead you to the place of truth. The woman was told, out of you, out of you shall come rivers welling up to eternal life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are a worshipper. Praise Jesus. Regardless of where you are. If you are born again, the spirit of God is in you. You are a worshipper. Because what makes you a worshipper is not your performance. Repeat that. What makes me a worshipper is not my performance. Is what has been deposited in me. Uh -huh. So now we ask ourselves, what about the performance? Whatever has been deposited in you is what will lead you to perform. You are not righteous because you do righteous deeds. You do righteous deeds because you are the righteousness of God. Except that he has first made you righteous, you can do nothing righteous. You can do everything you want. Pray six hours a day. Fast 21 days a month. But if he has not called you his righteousness by the means that you have received salvation by grace, all that you do, say with me, is trash. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. So yes, you can lift your hands up. You can kneel down. You can lie on the floor. That is not what really, really makes your worship true. What makes it true is the deposit that is in you. Hallelujah. Because that is what helps you connect with God. Praise Jesus. So every time you are going to worship in your house, wherever in church, with such an understanding, you can always arrive to the point of truth. That yes, God is so great. Hallelujah. And after that worship service, you're just going home and like, what does it mean that God is great? Praise God. You look at a tree. Today it looks funny. You don't know why it looks funny. But it's because there is something welling up in you. God is great. Praise Jesus. When we are talking about things like, Healer, your name is Healer. Always in spirit. And when you are there, he will always lead you to the truth. Amen. 